Hi. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going for a derpy intro this month. Yeah, it seems that way. Yeah. Bender's here. I'm back after <laughs> a month hiatus. Yes. It was one of the months where our sort of schedules didn't really align. Uh, yeah, and I had my birthday, and I had a Jewish holiday, and I didn't care. Was it, was it Purim? No, no, it was Shavuos, the, oh, okay. one of the holiest days of the year, where we celebrate the getting of the Ten Commandments. I'm pretty sure. Up on Mount Sinai. Yes, up on Mount <laughs> Sinai. Yes. Look. Somewhere in the middle of the desert. <laughs> Somewhere. <laughs> So somewhere in the desert, on a mountain, you've we got, got the Ten Commandments. We, yeah. we don't know where it is or somewhere Well, no one knows exactly what mountain is, but that's not important right now. We have a movie to discuss. We do. Do we have to? Do we have to discuss it? We don't have to. We could talk about something else. Okay, let's do that. <laughs> <laughs> what film did we watch this month, Brenda? Which we film? We watched... Are You Being Served? The movie. Yes. Not, is... not the TV series, which is far better. Because it was pretty much the move, the TV show lengthened and in a different location. Yeah, they decided. As the TV series is so popular, let's make a movie out of it. Which is what they do nowadays, and they did back yeah, then. But, they they haven't changed much. No, the most recent one they did was absolutely fabulous. I think. Was that about the two women who yeah. do something involving makeup that looked terrible in the trailer, so I never could be bothered to see? Edrina Monsoon. She's a fashion designer. So, yeah, the thing that looked really silk stupid. And then her friend Patsy, who is also a fashion designer. But they both know nothing about fashion and just end up getting high on drugs all the time. Okay, so the thing I decided not to see because it looked terrible. Yeah. <laughs> if you don't like Abfab, you wouldn't have enjoyed the movie. I've but never no, even I, heard of that. I quite enjoy Abfab. It's stereotypical of its time. Wasn't it... Isn't it recent? 90s. Yeah, okay. it's stereotypical of its time. <laughs> the sort of humour okay. you get in it. Well, I mean, but, um, but yeah, Are You Being Served the movie is literally Are You Being Served the TV show lengthened to an hour and. Hour and a half. An hour and a half. Yeah, it says here it, it was a 92 minute film. The first half was fine when. Oh, until they until actually went on holiday, yeah. And then it was just like, what the hell's going on? There was a revolution, which made no sense. What they did was they took the plot from one of the episodes where the department has to close down for refurbishment and everyone had to go on holiday during them two weeks. So that was a half hour episode which worked quite well. What it did was turn it into an hour and a half movie. Yep. So and it did not went, work. No. Uh, and we all went to the Costa, Plank, Costa Plonco. Which I have no idea what it is. Supposedly it's near Colombia. I think it's a made up place. Yeah, it's supposedly with the Columbia, that's run by the Colombian government. And, um,. But yeah, and there's a revolution going on, so it could be Colombia. No, no, but... there's no revolution. The re revolution's supposed to start the day after they arrive. Yeah, there's a revolution. Yeah. And chaos ensues. I mean, the only thing I found out today while looking at this movie is, is there are two more Are You Being Served? <laughs> there's uh, oh. Grace and Something, which is the sequel, which is them running a manor house. The only character that didn't seem to be in it was Mr. Lucas. And then there's Mr. Humphrey going to Australia and Grace Brothers, uh, Are You Being Served Australia? Which, both of which I want to have a say something of. They had two seasons of both. It looks so bad. So I want to see that. Because Mr. Humphrey's is my favorite character. He's my favorite character as well. I think he's the only character who is having fun the whole time. Yeah, that was, mm -hmm. that's Mr. Humphrey. No, that was, he was cast brilliantly for the role and he made the role his own. And I don't think he could, I don't think, I think out of all the cast, because they all made their roles their own, and they were all good in the TV show, I think in the only one character actually good in the movie was Mr. Humphreys, because he just seemed to have go with it. The others were like, why are we, sometimes you just felt like the actors were going, why are we doing this now? Yeah. It just, it made no sense. It really didn't. And the jokes they were using were just the same old jokes from the TV it, series. They've they just, just lengthened the movie to, they've lengthened it for 90 minutes. Yeah. It's a good TV show. It's just a I movie. don't think it will work for a movie. It, it, it doesn't. It, it doesn't, no. Know. When you have a TV series like that, you don't turn it into a movie, it ruins it. Yeah. And if you're going to do something, take Mr. Humphreys and give him his own movie. I would watch it. <laughs> I would. I would pay money to see that. <laughs> I would watch it. 
<laughs> the Mr. Humphreys movie. <laughs> Actually, you put Mr. Humphreys and Mr. Lucas together, that would be. Yeah, just Mr. Humphreys, it'd be like the Mr. Bean movie. Except for actual. <laughs> Except for fun. Yeah, Mr. Bean's kind of annoying. Oh, Mr. Bean. I find him annoying. He's fun, but oh. after. But he doesn't. Mr. Bean also doesn't work well for a movie. You get sick of the jokes halfway through. You're like, but this is the same thing with Are You Being Served. Mr. Bean was fine as a TV show, movie, not so much. No. But I think Mr. Humphreys would be hilarious <laughs> in his own movie. It has to be the same actor, though, because... John, well, John Inman's dead now. Yeah, so no Mr. Humphreys, <laughs> yeah. So it wouldn't work now. They couldn't make... They, unless yeah, they I found know. a way to resurrect him from the grave. Well, not <laughs> But you know what I mean. It would have to be either... It would have had to have been made when he was still Mr. Humphreys. Yeah. Or someone... Or never, not at all. But I would have watched a Mr. Humphreys movie. He, he was great. Well, let's see. I mean, was there really a plot? No, it was just uh, meant to be having a holiday and there was a revolution going on. Yeah, I mean, the first half was, was the normal it. jokes. The normal customers showed up, did their normal thing. They did their normal survey. But again, it was the same jokes they used in the but series. But they used the like, same jokes in the series. Like the, woman, the, the woman with the hat. The balloon was new. Well, it wasn't though. He it still had the Middle Eastern guy coming in for trousers and not allowed to be touched. And it's the well, same the joke. only episode I can remember where the middle another Middle Eastern came in was when he, a Middle Eastern came in looking for trousers for his women. Yeah, but then and then they, they did a little thing with Jiggy where they had to yeah, do the split. It's, it's the same thing. They just changed it slightly for the film. I think sense. the blue. Yeah, but then again, are you being served? Did repeated strokes a lot, just in different. It was are you being served? They the jokes could only change so much to a point. Which is probably why it didn't work, it wouldn't work nowadays. Yeah, it's very politically incorrect as well. But Mr. Humphreys was fun. I like Mr. Humphreys. He's awesome. I like Mrs. Slocum as well. Mm, she's they're like my two favourite characters. Yeah. I think they're the most rem memorable characters out of the bunch. I mean, Mr. Lucas is, and Mrs. Bra Miss Brown? Miss Browns. Browns? Brown? Browns. Brahms. As in Brahms Lullaby. <laughs> they, they, I, I mean, Mr. De Lucas was replaced in the last season, and you oh, did. Replaced in, yeah. Well, um, Mr. Granger was replaced in season six. Yeah, I mean, those guys could be replaced and then come back and replaced again. I mean, the only characters you really cared about not losing was Mr. Uh, Humphreys, Miss Slocum, and Captain Peacock. Because those are the characters you remember the most. I really like Captain Peacock. I find him funny. Mm -hmm. Mostly because it's funny to watch him get bent out of shape. I think Captain Peacock is a character out of Cluedo. It's funny <laughs> to watch Mr. Peacock get knocked out of shape. Yeah. I li but when it comes down to it, if you think of Are You Being Served, you think of those three characters and then the rest. So in a way, you don't have to like him. He's one of the three main characters you think of when you say when you, someone says, Are You Being Served? The three top characters are Mr. Humphreys. He, he's like the villain of the, of the show, yeah. really, isn't he? Isn't well, no, that's what's his face. He's in charge of them in the. Mumbo. Yeah. Oh, no, he's just had a comic relief. Sure. He's mm -hmm. like, um, Captain Peacock is the villain of the, of the. Yeah, he's the one who has to. He's the boss, and he. Well, yeah. But yeah, he's the. Those three are the three people you mostly think about. And then you have the other characters who can be swapped out at any time. Mm. But it was nice to did the film with the original people. Yeah, not the replacements. No. Can't, I, can't I even remember who. I don't. I don't know. I don't think. I think Miss Brahms was there. Actually, I'll the say end. that. I said he used the original people. Um, Mr. Harmon wasn't one of the original ones. Actually, the first three series had Mr. Mash as the maintenance guy. Yeah, but who remembers the maintenance guys that much? I prefer Mr. Mash actually. Was he the one who? Uh, yeah, I guess Mr. Mash was kind of fun. Yeah. Mr. Harmon annoys me, but most yeah, of Yeah, Mr. Harmon didn't have the same humour as Mr. Mash did, and it didn't really work as well with the rest of the team. Yeah, uh, I mean, cast-wise... One fact I do know about Are You Being Served was, the character of Mr. Humphreys was not written as gay. They just hired the actor who became... The, Mr. Hum yeah, John Inman made that role gay. And everyone loved it. it, it yeah, Mr. Humphreys was never going to be gay originally. He works... I cannot see Mr. Humphreys as a straight guy. I can't picture him that way. No. He's Mr. Humphrey. Uh, someone would uh, say Mr. Humphreys nowadays. 
They did a TV show in the six in 2016. They they, tried made, they, made, they tried to make a reboot of it. I'm not sure. I never saw it. And again, it was exactly the same jokes. I've never seen it, but was Mr. Humphreys the same? Was Mr. Humphreys Mr. Humphreys? Well, not Mr. Humphreys, but you know what I mean. Or did they make him straight again? They played on the they played on the campness of it. But it wasn't but, as good. But it wasn't with with John Inman when he did Mr. Humphreys. It was camp, but it was a natural camp. Because he with, was with, camp himself. With the reboot, it was played on camp. I'm going worked. to be looking up later Mr. Humphreys in Australia because that was a TV show based around him going to Australia and running, working at Mr. Bones. Mr. Bones, yeah. Which is Mr. Grace Brothers' cousin's I mean, department. I mean, this show in the movie was crap, really, because I do like my being served. It's like a crap classic British comedy. But I guess it was probably made by the same people who did the TV show, and directors who do the TV shows sometimes do not know how to do 90 minute movies. Oh. And if you're going to do a 90 minute movie, you need to get someone who knows how to direct 90 minute movies. Or turn it into a three part TV show, turn it into a TV part show mini series where each episode is a different part of the trip. Which and I think that really didn't work, that wouldn't have fitted right being served because it was very episodic, it wasn't a serial. Yeah, you know what I meant. Yeah. Where they go for what episode they're or they're they're. But, but this is the thing. What you're saying, the the scriptwriters were good at doing episodic. Yeah, but things, but they couldn't. They need yeah. to get a proper script team who knew how to do a whole entire. Either a serial, don't like use a jest, or a film. Yeah. yeah, and the problem is they literally just got the scriptwriters are normally great. They normally are very good. I love a lot of the episodes. I can remember a bunch of the episodes off my head, off the top of my head. But they cannot write a s um, they cannot keep a plot going for I think up until they actually once they get to the country, it goes bad. The plane I think was hilarious. Not memorable, but funny when you watched it. Yeah. It was better than the next part. Yeah, but it was a good ending. It would be what we'd normally end a TV show on. With them doing something stupid where... And then the Mr. Grace pops up out of... In yes, the of it so if you had Mr. Grace on the plane going, You're all done very well. Thank you, Mr. Grace. End. It would have been perfect. It went too long. And there were confusing bits. I mean, the first half was fine. It was a normal funny com The normal TV show. I would have happily watched the first little bit. Them getting ready to go on a trip. We never had to see the trip. I would have been fine just them getting ready to go on their holiday and them coming in the next episode would have been back in the Grace Brothers. I would have found the whole entire first half funny because I enjoyed the nurse showing from nowhere going, Poof. Yeah. Yeah, the jokes that were actually based in the department store when they were getting ready to go worked. I would have been happily watched that. Second half I don't remember and I'm still confused about why there was a revolution. Vive la revolution. Why? And what was with the girl and the thingy and the... Why was she wanting to stay in Mr. Humphrey's tent? Because Carlos was trying to seduce her and get her into bed. And she didn't want to get into bed with Carlos, so she decided to get to bed with Mr. Humphreys. Boy, is there a lot of collusive stuff Because she knew going... Mr. Humphreys was a good man and wouldn't take advantage. Hmm. <laughs> and then Mr. Lucas pretended to be Mr. Humphreys so he could get Conchita into bed with him. Well, she did get into bed with him and then the bug showed up. And then Caesar wanted to get to bed with Mr. S Mrs. Slocum, but Mrs. Slocum and Mr. Humphreys are swapped tents, so, Mrs. so Caesar thought Mr. Humphreys was Mrs. Slocum. And then they ran around a little bit, ran around like crazy, and then Mr. Slo Miss Slocum led him to the beach. Yeah. The actual Mrs. Slocum, not Mr. Humphreys dressed as Mrs. Slocum. Well, Mr. That, <laughs> that did work Humph quite well. Well, they were at the beach, and he did end up with their knickers. Caesar did, yeah. So I'm sure it went just great for Caesar. Um, Captain Peacock was trying to get Miss Brahms into bed. That was... But ended up sending a love note to Mrs. Slocum, who sent a note back to me. Yeah, it got very convoluted and stupid. Well, it was a typical are you being served of something happens and then it just becomes comedy of errors. Which is that, fine. That was how every episode of... Kind of didn't was. really work. <laughs> Not as a 90 minute film, no. no. You no. got kind of sick of it very quickly. No. But yeah, it was very comedy of errors. Yeah. Luckily, we didn't have to see their whole holiday. We only saw the first day. Because who God knows what else will happen. Yeah, I don't think we can say much else. Do you know what did do a holiday comedy very well? What? Carry On Abroad. Carry On always 
weren't a TV show though, those were movies. No, but you know, it does say like, it takes that concept and did it very well. Yes, but they had good directors yeah, who know how to do people that. Going on holiday. We have to do another carry on film. We do. Which one we did carry on uh nurse? Carry we did, on nurse, didn't we? I think it was one of the first ones. We did carry on nurse. Yeah, one of the first ones. So we should do a later one for comparison. We should. Like carry on aboard. <laughs> <laughs> Or carry out your convenience, that's a nice one. Sure, but I think I let's take a break from the British comedy and do something else for July and then come back in August with the British comedy. But I like British comedy. Okay, well then let's do something <laughs> much much earlier and go for the tw go for the forties. What did we do uh, that was last time we did a Hitchcock film, wasn't it? Yes, last time we did a Hitchcock film, yeah. which was very good. It was, I like that one. I was thinking more of another YouTube deep dive. For a Hitchcock film. No no no. <laughs> For another YouTube deep dive, like I oh, married a witch. I still, oh yeah, we did that. Before. Well, that was fun. Yes, that's why I think another YouTube deep dive and see what other stupid film we can. Okay, find. let's see what you can find for July then. I will find a stupid film for July, and then August will be Are You Being Served? Whatever it is. No, not Are You Being Served. <laughs> <laughs> carry on something. Carry on whatever it is. <laughs> Could you carry on Columbus if we can get hold of that somewhere? That's like but the last one to be made. Th yeah, in the nineties. And has, Julia, whole... has Julian Clary in it? With a whole another cast. I think it's online as well. And Bernard Cribbins. Yep. Yeah. I have no idea where we'd find a copy. No, me neither. And it's a whole different cast, and I don't think any of them are really that mean good. It's got Jim Dale, who is sort of one of the core cast in the later films, but um, that's the only original yeah. one. That's the only one left in it. Mostly because they were trying to redo it, and it wasn't working very well. No. Yeah. No, the film before The Hitchcock was the, the one you wanted to watch. Oh, After the Dark. Yeah, that was fun. You didn't enjoy that at all, did you? The acting was good. <laughs> Shall we wrap it up? <laughs> yes, we should. Okay. And again, sorry for not last for no film last month, but it didn't work out. No. And also, sorry about the lighting. The sun keeps sort of going behind clouds and then not behind clouds, and it's sort of messing with the lighting I mean, in my room. Yeah. But um, apart from that. Lovely seeing you guys again. And we shall see, well you shall see you next month, I shall see you on Tuesday with a tea video. Tuesday's past, it's Sunday next. But I shall see you Tuesday with a tea video. This will be going out on Sunday. Oh yeah, I shall <laughs> <laughs> You watch my videos, you know my schedule. <laughs> yes, yeah, so I shall see you Tuesday with a I've, tea video. <laughs> I slept 12 hours last night, I'm kind of still a little bit loopy. <laughs> it's been a fun, it's been a very... Very fun couple of days. Lots of stress. Oh. So I'm kind of loopy. Well, thank you for putting up with this. <laughs> At <laughs> least uh, we've had worse videos. I'll see you Tuesday. Bye. Bye. <laughs>